Hey guys, I just got done with a float at Float Life here in Appleton, Wisconsin. It was a great experience and um, this was the float tank that I used and I feel really good. I feel really relaxed. Just going to show you really quickly the shower behind me so you can get clean before and after your saltwater bath. And this is where all the magic happens in the saltwater bath. And yeah. You want to say hi, boy? What's up, guys? Hey, guys, this is Jonathan. Jonathan, sorry, I'm so relaxed I can't speak. <laughs> that yeah. happens. Pulse flow blow effect right there. Exactly. Hey, yeah. guys. This was my float guide, and he was amazing. So Thank you, thank you. you you'll so get to meet You betcha. Thank you. And you guys will get to meet him when you come for your float. I'm going to talk about it more later, but for now, I'm going to go to my post drinks that he so nicely prepared for me. Let's go. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm about to enjoy my... Um, four shots of kombucha and a surprise tea flavor that Jonathan brewed for me. But before I go there, I wanted to show you really quickly the hallway to get like down and into the pod. So this is like their tea station and this is a little changing room. Um, nope, no one's in there. Um, but you can like, after your bath, hey, I'm there in the mirror. Hi. Isn't this a flattering kimono? But yeah, um, it's so cool. And this is where you take your shoes off and such. Mine are right there. And you get to walk down this little hall and there is a bathroom on your left. So you can use that as you need. And this is a really cool room, you guys. This is, I forgot what Jonathan's name for it, but this is like the relaxation room. So down this hall, we're not gonna go down it, but you come through the relaxation room and you take a sharp right and then you go to your pod and Jonathan explains everything. I should say your tour guide. My my tour guide's name was Jonathan. Is Jonathan, he's still there. But yeah, this is the relaxation room. You got some sofas, a giant bean bag where I have camped out with my little bag of stuff. Let's see what, what the, all these drinks are. Hi guys, I moved three steps across the room to my tea which is served in this super cool cup and they also give you complimentary water because it's important to stay hydrated this is super cool because you can take off this little top it's been brewing for maybe five minutes or so now and then oh it's watermelon flavor which is what i asked him to surprise me with. well i asked him to surprise me and he chose watermelon flavor and it smells really good um this is what it looks like when it's all there. I'm gonna just strain it a second. All right, and then you can put it on there. He told me it's just like a little plate, and look at that, there it is. All right, I think this should be cool enough, so I'm gonna take a sip and see what happens. Ooh, oh, oh, that's good. It tastes like a watermelon candy. Love it. All right, y'all, that tea was amazing. I am excited to try these kombucha shots. There are four different flavors that Jonathan prepared for me, and they are lavender blueberry, that one, and then there's, I never know how to say this berry name, acai and raspberry, which is this one. And then we have uh, mango turmeric, the third one. And then the fourth one is an elderflower, which I'm really excited to do because I've never tried that before. So let's give them a go. All right, guys, I'm going to try the lavender blueberry first. Oh, it smells good. Let's try. Oh, oh, it's nice and fruity and it has like a little bit of a kick. Like, not a spice, but if you've had kombucha before, this is maybe my second time having it. And I really like this flavor. That's good. All right, I guess I'm just going to keep going down the line. Here's an acai and raspberry. Looks good, smells good. Let's give it a go. Welcome back, Anna. Thanks. I'm feeling oh, that is good, too. It's very good. It's a little... It's not as sweet as the other one, but I like it a lot. All right. This next one is the mango turmeric. This is the mango turmeric. I'm excited for this one because I already know I like mango. Oh, I can smell the mango too. Let's try. 
Oh, that one tastes like soda. I like it. Mm. All right, the elderflower, the one I'm most nervous about because I've never had it before, but I can't really smell anything, but I bet it's going to be good. Let's try. Per usual, I'm not wrong. I don't know, that one tastes really good. I don't know which one. I think the lavender blueberry is my, mm, no, the main, mm. I'm gonna try them all again. I'm gonna get back to you on my favorite later. Good morning, everyone. This is Cameron, the day after my very first floating experience with Float Light in Appleton, Wisconsin. I just want to say it was a fantastic float, a great experience. My float guide, Jonathan, or John, was very kind, very informative as he stepped me through the process of floating um, from like the moment you enter the space up until your float. So I felt safe, I felt good, I didn't really have any questions. Um, I did get salt water in my eye once, but they, he explains like the fresh water bo bottle that you have to spray yourself off and anything else that you could possibly have go wrong, there's a way for you to correct it. And if all else fails, there's a little help button. So you just help, you just push the button too, and help comes to you. So um, as far as for if I notice any differences or how I'm feeling, I slept pretty late today, which is not super abnormal for me. But I will note that I've been getting up like a little bit erratically over the past two or three weeks. I think we're all stressed out and I would get up at like six o'clock in the morning, pray a little, go back to sleep, get back to up again like an hour, hour and a half later when I had planned to sleep much later. So I did sleep all the way through the night this time, which was really great. So I think I feel much more refreshed. I got a deeper rest and um, I just feel good. Like last night I felt so good. Like I felt so relaxed and I felt good. Like I had time to just lay and think to myself and I was actually floating. Like normally when I go out to the lake, all of my family can float, I cannot float, but there's so much salt in the water that you just kind of relax and you lay there and you're floating and I'm just like, I'm floating. And at first I was like, yeah, and I'm all excited because I've never been able to float before. But um, I was also able to relax because you're just weightless. It's like, and now after this, I kind of want to go be an astronaut so I can float in space and experience two forms of weightlessness, but that'll be another video for another time. Anyway. Um, but yes, I highly recommend Float Light in Appleton. Great experience, great time. Even if you just are like me and you can't float and you just want to float for once in your life, go have a float, check it out, and hopefully you'll sleep a little better like I did. All right, and full disclosure, if you use my name, Cameron Chapin, as your, like, a reference or a referral, I do get a little gift. Just full disclosure so you know that. But I'm not a paid actor yet. Um, I am just another happy person recommending a local business as we should all be doing. All right. Anyway, uh, love and light to all of you. Hugs and kisses and prayers. I hope you all are doing well. Stay safe and be well. Let's see you soon. But wait, Cameron, you never told us what your favorite flavor of kombucha shot was. <gasps> You're right. I'm so sorry. Okay. So I think my favorite kombucha flavor, I guess there are like 30 different flavors there. I got to have four of them, which you guys got to see in the last little bit. But I think my top favorite for me personally was the mango turmeric, very closely followed by the lavender blueberry. So those two were my top two. And they were the top two of the other client that was in the space with me. She also really liked those two. The other two were good, but I like really super sweet. And those, I could really taste the sweet flavor. So. Those were my two favorite. If and when you go, please leave me in the comments what your favorite kombucha flavor was from the time and let me know what your experience was like. Okay, I'm out for real this time. Bye.